credit, who has bad credit? Let's talk about five secrets to getting amazing credit because at the end of the day, one of the things they don't teach in school, that's pretty much what I talk about in these live calls recently. Just all these subjects, one after another. It's like real estate, how to invest your money, talking about social media, talking about marketing, entrepreneurship, but this is a fundamental one right here and I'm gonna show you some stuff Pay close attention. I'm gonna give you some in-depth specific things you could do. Maybe you need to repair your credit. Maybe you already have good credit, but you don't have a lot of credit lines. You, you know, if you're an entrepreneur watching this, you should have a million dollar credit line. Two million. And you might think that's impossible. Well, you haven't watched this talk yet. So let's go into this. I'm gonna talk about five things. Let me start by saying this. My brother just walked by, Ben. How old are you now, Ben? 26. 26, he's got 800 credit score using what I'm about to show you. Okay? Started and did not have 800 credit score before the. <laughs> yeah, I just checked it in at 800. I'm glad you came in. He's rocking the, the beard. All right, Ben. Ben's a Leo. He likes attention. He was like, this is my chance. <laughs> Pop in. Um, so let's just talk about money in general because people forget this. I was just listening to Ray Dalio. Ray Dalio, he wrote this new book called Principles. He's a hedge fund guy. He's worth $10, $20 billion. And people don't understand, there's two ways you can buy stuff. You can buy with cash or you can buy with credit. And some of you have probably heard that credit is bad because it's debt. Whoever heard, has ever heard this? You know the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Well, here's the thing about Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I didn't have a rich dad. I had a poor dad and then a poor stepdad. So I had, my book would be called Poor Dad, Poor Dad. And so I didn't grow up understanding anything about debt. Debt can be good. If you look at Richest man of our time, Sam Walton. He used debt to build Walmart. So, because when, when I've given this talk before, I haven't done this in a while, people go, oh, well, you shouldn't have a lot of credit. You shouldn't even use credit cards. You're teaching people to get credit cards. I'm like, you're stupid. You do not know about money. Or you're not stupid, you're ignorant. Don't be ignorant. Credit cards, what if you had, let me just give you an example. What if you use credit card debt to get $3 million or three million points, so you're traveling the world free. My, I, I showed these techniques to my, one of my closest friends, Jeremy, we've been friends since we were two years old. He hasn't even been in America in the last nine months. He'd been traveling the world with his girlfriend, Charlotte. He just got an, he's in Vienna, Austria right now, using these techniques. He's staying at a place, I think it's $1,800 a night. He's staying there for free. Credit points. He traveling for free. I was pissed because I was staying, if you saw I was just in London, I was paying, I forgot what I was paying at this, I was at a really nice hotel called the Rosewood. But sometimes I forget to even use points, but don't do that. I'm gonna show you how to use the points. So first thing you got to know is credit score. So number one is master the pieces of the pie. You gotta master the pieces of the pie. So your credit score is composed of multiple things. It's like a pie. It's not just, um, it's not just, have you paid everything on time? So let's give an example. Let's say it's, it's five or six things. Credit card usage, everybody knows this. So number one, usage. What percentage are you using? Of, let's say you got a $1,000 card. Are you using $900 of it and not paying it all down? That's high usage. That's going to hurt you. If, ideally, keep your usage below 10% at the end of the month. So if you've got a $1,000 card, keep like 90 to 100 bucks on there. Okay, because you're tempting the credit companies to push everything up for you. By the way, uh, for some of you who are in the credit mentor program, I haven't opened this up since April. It's been a long time. So I'm gonna open this up at the end. We're doing a seven day scholarship. 
for this. So I'm giving you some free training. I'm gonna put a link below, or it might be in the title uh, for those of you, what is the link? For those of you, if you're watching this and you're ready to get in, let us, let us mentor you for the next two months. It's just tylopez.com slash credit. And you're not gonna pay full price. I'm gonna do a scholarship. And actually, so that's less than seven days if you wanna get that scholarship. This thing gonna fill up. I haven't had this open for six months. And um, also I will do, uh, for those of you who get in in the next two days, I'm gonna give you free access to the Credit Mentor Facebook group. After two days, you're gonna have to pay. So we'll have it open for seven days, but anyway. So credit usage, keep it under 10%. You gotta have some discipline. Number two, what's your history? They're looking back. Did you miss, and I'm gonna show you, some of you have missed payments. I once missed a payment back in 2008 or something. Man, it knocked my credit back like 200 points. Now my credit's like 800, but I, it was knocked back, you know why? Because I didn't know about, I'm gonna give you one tool, one website you can go to, to fight. If you've got delinquent marks, there's a way to fight it. All right, the next thing is age. How long, not your age, but your credit age. That's why parents, if they were smart, they would get their kids a credit card at 12. By the time you're 20, you could have, or even sooner, you could have 800 credit score, you could buy a house. You could buy a car, you could get lower interest rate, you know? It's like a no-brainer here. So credit age. Next, total number of accounts. You don't wanna just have one credit card. Who here watching live has one uh, credit card? And also, not just total number of accounts, but also the type of accounts. You wanna have a diversity of accounts. You don't wanna just have a personal credit card, you wanna have maybe a car lease or a car loan. You wanna have a home loan or maybe a piece of real estate you've invested in. You wanna have a credit line at your bank if you can. So all those different kinds. Rudy says he has a prepaid card. Rudy, prepaid card ain't helping you with nothing. And there's a way, I'm gonna give you some cards you can get even if you are brand new to this. And then number six is hard inquiries. That was number, oh, sorry. I'm, what did I, which one did I miss here? Um, oh, I was talking about, yeah, derogatory marks. We'll put that in, you could have broken that out, but derogatory marks, let's just do five. And then number five is hard inquiries. That means if you're going out, talking to 20 different credit cards, companies at the same time, each of the credit cards companies see that and it knocks your credit back. But it'll, it'll come back, um, but they're looking because they're thinking you must be broke if you're looking for 10 credit cards. So when you, there's a whole strategy you'll learn in the credit mentor program uh, that will show you how to, what one to get in the first week, in the second week, and you wanna space it out. Milligram on YouTube said, what about gas cards? Shell, yeah, those can be good. That's a slightly you know, different form. Store credit cards. You want different forms of credit. Somebody said they have an Apple card for $10. You mean like a Visa card or like an Apple prepaid card? That's not gonna help you at all. Which one's missing here? We got YouTube. Oh, Facebook, I don't see. Facebook. Mm, yeah, but I don't see the comments. They're somehow hidden. Oh, yeah, there you go. Is that it? You should scroll this way. All right, you do it. You put them on. Okay. Um, Best Buy credit card. Okay, let's keep going through this. Any questions on this? We're building. We're going to get more advanced. But this is important. I got to build here for people. What about medical bills? Well, medical, here's the thing. If you don't pay a bill, that can be shared on your total credit and mess things up. That's not necessarily to build your credit, although sometimes you could get a line of credit um, for medical stuff. I'm not sure, I'd have to check how that works with your credit. I don't know the answer to that. Uh, Neiman Marcus credit card, should, off you, should you pay off your balance or reinvest in your business? Like I said, pay it down to about 10% every month 
and then load it up because I'm going to show you how to get points. You need to get points. You need to get points. Let's talk about, okay, so number one, master all those pieces. It's not that hard. My brother has 800 credit score at 26, okay? My cousin, Maya, just today she was approved for $28,000 credit card, first attempt, okay? So I don't want you to think this only works for me because I got a lot of money. I don't want you to think that it's just like this can work for everybody. In fact, one of the people teaching in the program, there's different people teaching, but Steven is by 21, I think he had 20 million points built up and like a million dollar credit line open. And there's lots of ways. So the next thing we gotta talk about, so this is, that was number one. Number two is credit lines. So before we were talking about your credit score, what builds your credit score? what you have to do. Oh, let me tell you one little trick back to here. Actually, I'll make this number two. A free trick right here. Let's say on this, let's say your worst part is your credit history, your payment history, you missed some payments or something like that. Or I've had it where once my credit got dinged because they were mailing my bill to the wrong, my old house. So I didn't even see that I had it. So here is a free trick. Go to this website and you can get a ton of stuff knocked off, okay? CFPB.gov, this is a government website. The CFPB, you go here, you basically argue that, you know, they unfairly dinged your credit. And you'd be surprised, some of your credit score is gonna go up this week listening to this piece of advice. Pays to have mentors when it comes to stuff like this. Mohammed Rehan said, missed my payment deadline by four days, but paid about 100% today. Do you think I'll get hit on credit score? That's one of those ones you probably want to come in here. You know, you probably want to come in the CFPB and see if you can contest it if they do knock your credit score back. Because remember, getting your credit messed up, it can last five to seven years. I mean, if you get it taken off, it could be off in five to seven weeks or less. So this can mess you up for a long time if you do this wrong, okay? So that's my answer. Um, okay, let's talk about credit lines. That's number three. You need to start opening up lines of credit. There's ways to do this, especially you guys thinking of starting a business. You could start a business with no money of your own if you open a line of credit. Just be careful that you manage it, but you could, you're talking no money. No money down right here. So with this credit line, let's talk about the five and 24 rule. Five and 24 rule. A lot of credit card companies are only letting you sign up for five credit cards in the last 24 months. So you gotta be very strategic because if you start going past this, there's a way around this, but it's kinda like pieces of a puzzle. Most people just go, oh, my friend has a card, or this has a card, and they go and they don't do it strategically. And you violate this five and 24 rule, which messes you up. You can't get as many cards open. So you gotta know which ones, like I don't have time to go through the whole thing. Those of you in Credit Mentor, for the next two months we'll be training you. It's an online training program. Talk about something they should have in every university. No university has this, not one. Name a university that's teaching you how to master your credit so that you can have travel the world for free, have millions of points, potentially a million bucks. Each of you, everyone here, this year, in the next 12 months, you should have $100,000 of credit line open. That mean you're using it. Remember I said, keep it below 10% utilization. Imagine if you're starting to do that, you want to, you see a good opportunity to launch a business. Boom, it costs 10,000 to start, you got it. And you built, you've proven that you are reliable, that you understand the game of credit. This is big, big, big thing. So understand the five and 24 rule. Um, you want to understand, does the credit card company do a hard pull for your limits? So we talked about that here on the hard pull. 
And so if you're trying to increase your credit line, you can just ask them that. American Express doesn't do a hard pull for credit line increases, so it doesn't ding you. You can try to get your credit line increased without having to worry about that, okay? Now, here's a big thing. You want to talk, and this is, we're actually going to have more than five, but number four, the word reconsideration. These credit card companies have people sitting there that you can call up and you can do what's called humanizing. So let's say you have a credit card now that's like a thousand bucks. That's it, or ten thousand dollar limit, or a hundred thousand. You want to push that up? You call the reconsideration line and you convince them to increase you. We have an actual script you can follow for those of you in the mentor program. Just use like the credit mentor exact script. But I'll just give you kind of a tip. Basically, what you're doing is you're selling yourself to them. You're humanizing them. You're making them feel good that you're not just doing it to run off with the money. They have the ability. That person on the phone can increase your credit limit. It's not their money. So you don't have to be the best salesperson in the world, okay? Um, and then, of course, over time, you want to focus on certain banks and build relationships with them because you can keep opening. Remember, banks come out with new cards with new awesome, like, travel points in this. There's a three for one card that you can do. You get every dollar spent, you're getting triple the points. So that you might already have a card with a bank and you could build it up another card when they roll it out. Say, hey, I want this new card that you have. Okay, questions on this. What happened to, oh, there's Facebook home. And YouTube, boom, 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 okay. Magnus Volan said, let, let me, I want to, oh, let me do something. I'm going to read you, by the way, for some of you are going, oh, I don't believe this can all work. Well, let me show you something right here. Do, do, do. I'm going to pull up testimonials that I have of people who went through the program. Here we go. Oh. I got a new WhatsApp. Can you, do you have them on your phone, Armand? Are you in the credit, Armand? Do you have your credit mentor WhatsApp group? Uh, You're in the group. I'll pull, I'm gonna read you some of these testimonials. Grab me somebody's phone that has it. I forgot, my WhatsApp doesn't always back up your images right. I'm gonna show you, I got 100 testimonials of people who radically, oh, here we go. Here we go. Let me just randomly pull out some. There's insane ones. We have a whole group. Here's videos of people. Uh, here, Ryan Eng. I don't know if you can see this. This is an actual screenshot he sent in. He said, seven days in your credit mentor course and my score raised 220 points. Insane. Blessed to have learned the info in this course and be able to implement. He moved, he's at 707. So basically he had not good credit, like 500. And we moved, it took him seven days. The tech, oh look, there you can see. Four, he was at 450, 487. You're not gonna be able to buy a car. When you go apply for a job, they're going to check your credit nowadays. Investors will check your credit. I mean, every credit is critical. You know, people are concerned about what their Uber rating is. I'm like, are you stupid? Who cares? If your Uber rating is bad, you can just download Uber on another phone. But if your credit's bad, it's tied to your social security number. It's tied. They will find you and they will lock you out of things. So that's just one testimony. Let me just read. I'm not going to, I keep 100 here on the phone. Here's a whole video. <laughs> There's his new wallet full of cards. He says, I could buy $10,000 a day easily on, on my cards, but I'm doing what I'm comfortable with. So he's disciplined. Look at this. Ryan Alexander, six, four months ago, I didn't have an Amex card, not a single one. Now look at these cards this guy has. He got the platinum. He's got the Amex gold, baby. He don't have the black. I don't know how old he is. 
How about this guy? <laughs> His name. His username is Kiki PP. So ignore the username, but appreciate you for my set six hundred thousand travel points and miles. Six hundred thousand. Six hundred thousand. Just imagine if somebody, for all you watching this, imagine if someone taught you this two years ago. This is your chance. Look at this. Mac Angelo, he took the Citation 10 to New York for the weekend. Checked into the London New York Hotel. I paid zero dollars and zero cents, not even taxes. Look at that guy. I don't even know how old he is, but under 25. Citation 10 is a bad, Citation 10 is such a good jet, I'm gonna tell you that right now. It's the fastest jet out there. It's the fastest basically commercial. I mean, you could take an F-22 or whatever, but uh, <laughs> a Citation 10. I took a Citation 10 from my farm in Virginia and got to LA in three hours and 55 minutes. It's because it can go faster than the speed of the sound once you get, if you're in the right wind slipstream. So anyway, he, these guys traveling literally to New York in private jets. It's insane. I should read more. Of the, I haven't even read these in a long time. GG Brian, did your credit, did your score improve? Yep. Credit, credit age is not even a year, and the tips are amazing to get it right. What was your score before? 550 to low 600, and now fluctuating between 710 and 750. Bumped his score up in our program 100, 150 points. Trying to tell you people, this world is full of people that are so, I don't even know what to say, just so cynical. They think all this stuff is like a scam, which is fine. It's just more for other people to do. Here's credit limit approved. Here's a whole slew of things. Dear Paul, welcome to your new Barkley arrival plus World Elite MasterCard. So let's talk about this for a second. What kind of cards should you get? I'm gonna give you guys some tips, some cards that maybe you don't know about. Beginner, student, okay? If you're a beginner or student, here, you can have your phone back on. The Discover It card. Which cards should you apply for? Beginner, here, take this. Oh, you gave it to him? Yeah. Is that for me? Yeah, good cars to get. Discover It is one. I'll give you some more, even. Intermediate, you got the Chase Freedom. This is kind of like your credit score. Chase Freedom. Advanced. Chase Sapphire Reserve is one, Sapphire Reserved, um, some other ones, the Chase Inc. Preferred, the Business Cash, the Marriott, the Chase Ritz, the Venture from Capital One, 50,000 points after three grand spent in three months, that's crazy, unlimited two time mile per dollar on every purchase every day, so what else? Tired using Apple phone or Android? Apple, but I have Android too. I got everything. Magnus, yeah, all you entrepreneurs, people in social media marketing, by the way, if you're doing social, in my social media marketing program and you're spending money on Facebook for businesses, use your card, get the points, and then pay it off with their money. I'm trying to give you free, you want to travel the world in jets for free? Seriously, free. You want to get, and remember, we haven't even gotten into this more advanced stuff, cash back, cash back. I know people getting a check $20,000 in a month, cash back. Um, Ty, I failed big on a business, $150,000 in debt. Should I file bankruptcy then to start building credit? JSK, I got to know the whole story. But at the end of the day, sometimes you should declare bankruptcy and sometimes, I'll, I'll tell you this, before you declare bankruptcy, call those companies and humanize yourself. I gave this tip right here. Call them and say, hey, listen, work with me. I owe you 150, what if I pay you less? What if I pay you over time? Humanize yourself. 
Don't just sit, if they, don't be afraid of them. If they're calling you, answer the phone and say, I want to talk to the manager. I want to go straight to the top. Say, listen, this is what happened to me. Work with me. Don't make me do, because if I do, if I go bankrupt, you get nothing. Work with me here. There's scripts we have on this whole humanizing thing. They should have taught you this in school. I'm teaching it to you right now live. Maritza said, I don't need credit cards. I need money. Well, Maritza, the reason you don't have money is because you're thinking like a poor person. See, wealthy people manufacture money out of thin air. You didn't know that? You think Rockefeller, Vanderbilt, Jeff Bezos, you think they took their own money to do everything? That's not true. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. How much money do you think Warren Buffett put in? He has $400 billion market cap company. You think he put in $400 billion? No, he put a minuscule amount of that. With real estate deals, Cole Hatter teaches, for those of you in the real estate mentor program, he's one of the teachers there. He got the, he, no money down. He got someone else to put the money in. He got a percentage. He flipped his first house, okay, and just pocketed the money. You can create money with no money. I started my first business with no money. I got Joel Salatin to put in 60000 to buy the inventory on my first business. You got to learn sales. You have to learn how to humanize yourself. You need to learn techniques like this, and credit's a massive part of this. How many credit cards do you have open? Oh, a lot. I used to keep a folder. I don't know. One point I had, I mean, we're in the, we're 100 plus, but you don't have to do that much. Okay, you don't have to do that much. But Michael Reed said, Ty, where's the link to get the credit mentor program? So if you're on Facebook, it should be in the title. By the way, click the link that I'm gonna give you because I'm gonna give you a scholarship. You're not gonna have to pay what everybody paid, but I can only do this for a week. And for those of you who get in today, for the next two days out of the whole, so I'm gonna do it for a week. I'm gonna open this back up with scholarships. I haven't had it open for almost six months. I kind of forgot about it. Then I've got so many different things going on in my life and I realized, ah, I gotta get people you know, doing this. Ty, what credit card do you use the most? I use the black card the most, but the black card is not for you to start. I was in London. I use my black card, but that's this that's black card is the high level, more high level stuff, right? So let's not talk about that right now. I'm not promising everybody's gonna get a black card. You don't need a black card, forget it. Who cares about it? Just you, the gold card, you can get the Amex gold. That's a good card. You pull out an Amex gold, you get respect. Not quite as much as a black card, but it's, it's, not, it's not like you got, you know, it's not like a little Best Buy gift card or something like that. Um, what was I gonna show here? Oh. So you got, for, you got less than seven days to get a scholarship. I'm gonna put the link, but for the next two days, less than 48 hours, not only are you gonna get the credit mentor program with the scholarship, so I'm gonna pick up part of the cost, but big thing, I'm gonna let you in the um, Facebook private group we have all kinds of information being shared, the most cutting edge things from other students and the mentors that are teaching you in the program. It's super active Facebook group. After 48 hours in this seven days, you're gonna have to pay for it. Right now, I'm gonna throw it in for zero dollars. You pay for the price of the credit mentor, you get a zero bucks, you got less than 48 hours. After that, you can still get the scholarship, but you'll have to pay for that Facebook group. I wanna encourage people, get in now. I got I mean, you know, why not? Do you think you know everything about credit? Do you understand the Chase Inc. Big business card? You spend three grand, you get 500 bucks? How do you think about that? You're already spending money every month. It's insane. You're getting 1% cash back, 2% cash back on the first 25,000 bucks. Remember, I'm not getting paid by Chase. I'm just giving you ninja tricks right here. Michael Villari says it's a good group for sure, those of you in the Credit Mentor. Oh, uh, yeah, let me read. I'm gonna read off the name for some of you getting in the groups, and I got some more stuff I wanna train you on. We wanna talk about cashback, free travel, blah, blah, blah. But what was I gonna do? Hey, um, while you're paused. I'm not so paused. I'll do it in a second. Let me just get off this call, then I'll do it. We're not in that much of a rush. Um, do the other thing. Do the upgrade thing. 
Okay, what was I going to just look at? Oh, I'm going to read off the names of some of you getting in the group right now. So, who do we got getting in? Oh, wait, dang it, that's my wrong. Uh, I set up an email just to get alerts when people get in the Credit Mentor group. Here we go. Bu Krabil from Instagram Live in Utah. Oh, so let me put the link. It's just tylopez. If you don't see the link on your YouTube, Facebook, or a pinned comment, um, you can just go to this link. It's pretty easy to remember. tylopez.com slash credit. By the way, when you go to this link, or we might have it below, when you go to this link, you're going to see an insane amount of testimonials. Read some of those. Those are not made up testimonials. They're not made up testimonials. Okay? I do not do that. Now, does that someone ever lie and slip in? Yes, I'm sure. But I, got, I keep 100 testimonials on my phone. And there's way more. I don't want to load down my phone with too many <laughs> testimonials. I already have so many. I have thousands on my phone for all the people who go, oh, does, this, does any of this stuff ever work? I'm like, Psh, thousand. Thousands, thousands, thousands. Santiago says, what if I'm 16 years old? Man, I wish somebody had told me this at 16 years old. Jeez. Hat Lou says, how do you turn your credit into cash? So there's a whole way to do that. Um, I got to go in a few minutes. My trainer's here. But I'll try to get into a little bit of that. You basically want to convert points into cash. Um, gift cards is an X factor. Let me give you one other free bonus here. Well, let me just complete this. So you're going to get you're going to get a 60 day training program. Give me two months with the mentors, myself and the mentors I have in there. 60 day training. It's on your phone or laptop. It's private, password protected. It's safe to get in. Okay. For those of you who get in, you're going to get that. We're going to go through every part of credit. We're going to give you the most specific things ever for the next, like I said, for those of you in the next two months, uh, two days, you're going to get in the private Facebook group. You can immediately start talking to people because everybody's different. So you can get customized answers right now. What people are doing literally like my cousin who just got 28,000 approved today, she's going to post what she told them to get 28,000, how she humanized herself. You're going to get exact scripts. That's massive. That alone is worth this whole program. What to say? What to say to fix your credit score if you call them? You know how many people went bankrupt that didn't need to? They don't want you to go bankrupt. Credit card company, don't, what they want is to make money. If you go bankrupt, they get nothing. Remember, never forget that. Never forget that. Another thing, not taught in school, okay? Hold on. Um, what else? Sorry, I'm doing 10 things at once. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in a little bit. Some credit cards, remember, Discover It card if you're a beginner, more advanced people, Ritz-Carlton rewards, Chase Ritz-Carlton one. Six points for every dollar spent at Ritz-Carlton. Not a bad place to be chilling. The Ritz in London. Ty, I've seen one of your videos where you recommend LegalZoom. I've been reading some reviews and your experience was highly negative on LegalZoom. Man, let me tell you about online reviews. LegalZoom, I don't make a penny off of LegalZoom. I use LegalZoom. I probably have 10 companies I've used LegalZoom. I know the founder of LegalZoom, they're fine. Dude, this world, you can't even believe reviews anymore. Have you ever gone and seen a movie and the reviews were like either amazing or it's a horrible movie and then you see it and you're like, wait a second, I don't even, did we see the same movie? This movie was amazing and the review said it was horrible or vice versa. Online, people just like the blah, blah, blah. And the people who complain the most are usually the most annoying and actually biased people. Normal people don't leave comments all over the internet, just so you know. So I, if you don't want to use LegalZoom, you can pay a lawyer. It's going to cost you about two grand. It's fine. I don't care. I honestly don't. I, I'm not an affiliate for LegalZoom. They've never paid me a penny in my life. 
So I'm just giving you honest thing. If it's my own family, I'm like, go to LegalZoom, they're fine. If you have a complex business, I would use a lawyer. But if you're starting a social media marketing agency, use some, there's other competitors to LegalZoom too. Okay, um, do do do. JJ Calderon, I wanna do it in the first. Yeah, who's gonna get in the first 48 hours? Super interested. What other tips did I forget? Okay, let's talk about how long after you're 18 to get your first card. Immedi immediately, immediately, immediately. Have your parents add you to their account so you can get credit going. And then once you're 18, so you can do that before you're 18. Um, how long should you wait before applying to your second, third, and fourth credit card? These, I'm just reading some frequently asked questions. In the beginning, try to get your first three to five cards all at once, as quickly as possible, okay? Because you wanna get that credit age started. Will it hurt your credit to open a credit card and close it after you get all the points? So what you wanna, we'll teach a technique, freezing. You don't wanna close, you want to freeze. Then you can unfreeze them later. See, people close their accounts, which changes the ratios and messes up your credit score. Closing the credit cards can actually mess up your ratio. Um, uh, check out Doctor of Credit, uh, you know, check out uscreditcardguide.com. That's a place, uscreditcardguide.com has another place, but we may, you, so you can do this on your own. You don't have to get in the program, but we're gonna make it way easier for you. I don't know why people, people I, I've got the program that you can get in for under 200 bucks, okay? It's, we got a payment plan or you can do it for under 500 bucks, one-time payment. Imagine if you can, imagine if you can fix your credit card. What's that worth for you if you can fix your credit score? What's it worth for you to increase your credit score, be able to, Buy, call, buy a car, you know how much money you'll save if you get a lower interest rate? I was working with somebody who was trying to get a car, someone in my family. They got, because they don't have it, the payment monthly on a car, not, because they wouldn't let the credit, they wouldn't let the car go for more, they, they shorten the term and they up the interest rate. So they were gonna save $500, they save $500 a month now in cash flow, so. All right. What else? What do we got? Let's, oh, I haven't been reading YouTube. Will your programs include the rules, regulations, and ca cards concerning credit cards for specific states, or does it only pertain to California? This is not a California course. US is pretty much, I mean, there's most of it applies anywhere. And even if you're out of the US, I would still get in this course. One, most of you should be investing in the US. You can even get credit cards if you're not living in the US. There's ways to do that. And a lot of this applies to most countries in the world because everybody's kind of doing the same thing. Okay? Um, yep, Darren Rainey, just found out about the credit card closing. Don't do it. See, Darren, how much would you have paid to be warned not to destroy your credit? Just think of how much, I'm telling you, man, I can't believe how many people are getting their credit card, their credit destroyed. It's sad, actually. Really, people's credit getting destroyed because for lack of knowledge and information. Okay. Let me read off a few more people in the group. I'll take a few more questions. I got to go. And you got less than two days if you want to get in the, the uh, private Facebook group. You got less than 48 hours. And you got less than seven days before I close this up. It hasn't been open for six months, this scholarship. Okay. What other questions are we getting? Let me read some here. We've got, what do you mean, what about closing secured credit card in general? Dave Ramsey says close them, Ty. I don't agree with that. There's, Dave Ramsey's a smart guy. I don't, Dave Ramsey's not God. I've seen plenty of people Get, uh, Susie Orman, I met her once. I mean, you think these people always make the right, it, give the right advice? They're doing a different thing. Dave Ramsey's target audience is people who are living a nine to five job and want to do that for the rest of their life. I, that's not my thing. 
If you want absolute security, close all your credit cards. If you want to live the most secure life ever, never go out. Your most dangerous thing you can do is get hit by a car. Most likely cause of death, accidental death is car. So never get near a car, never get in a car. Lock yourself in a room so you don't get germs from anybody. I mean, do you want to live that life? For me, yes. Um, having credit can, if you don't, credit's like a pit bull. If it's on your side, it saves your life. If you let it get away from you and turn on you, it can mess you up. That's why you need to have, be mentored in this. So, okay. Ty, how do I get this training for free? What's the coupon code? The coupon code is, there is no coupon code, but I'm gonna do a scholarship. I'll do a partial scholarship. You got less than seven days to get in. You got less than two days to get in if you wanna get the uh, free private Facebook mentor group, okay? Talk to you soon.